here today with Jeremy Klein, a physical therapist assistant. And he has worked for a number of years with elderly folks. And today what we're gonna talk about is fall prevention. I came across a really shocking statistic that when, when people fall and break a hip, 25% of them actually do not survive the year. And there are a lot of reasons for that. You know, part of it is just being, being in bed and developing pneumonia or blood clots or things like that. But the point is, you don't want to fall and break a hip. 50% um, of those who fall and break a hip never actually are able to return to their full level of activity that they enjoyed before the fall. So I want to kind of pick Jeremy's brain a little bit today from his experience in PT and see if he can give us some ideas about what we can do to prevent falls in the home. Jeremy, what can we do? Sure, a lot of it is um, just modifying things in the home. Um, throw rugs or things that you need to pick up from the floor. Um, they can get caught on walkers or people that don't step really high with their feet and their gait is shuffled. Um, rearranging the furniture so you don't have things sitting in the middle of the floor. Um, modifying the bathroom, um, putting in grab bars if someone has a hard time getting out of the shower or the tub. Mm -hmm. There are things like tub benches for people that don't, that cannot or are not able to sit all the way down in the tub or in the shower. There are raised toilet seats um, that makes getting off the toilet a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. um, as far as uh, other things, uh, modifying your activity level so that you're not doing too much at one time and not overly fatiguing yourself because that will lead to some falls and some loss of balance. If you do ambulate with a walker or a cane, make sure you're using that as you're supposed to. Um, one of the things that people like to do is use furniture <coughs> and walls in order to walk and stabilize themselves. Well, sometimes you're not aware of how far away something is and mm. that can lead to a fall. You know, excuse me for interrupting here, but this is probably where, you know, if you could get a doctor's order to have a little bit of PT if you're having problems with balance. I mean, that's probably one of the things you see people for, isn't it? Balance issues and, and helping to train them how to deal with the new reality of whatever it is, you know, where they are now. Certainly. Um, the outpatient therapy world has changed quite a bit over the last five to ten years. As the population is aging, we're seeing more and more patients fit this need of needing balance and gait training and strengthening. So. Okay. Um, there are other services out there that will modify your home and make suggestions. They'll do a home assessment. So yes, definitely PT will assist in this area. That's great. Um, I think I've heard that medications a lot of times, you know, if you read the labels, a lot of them say they cause drowsiness or dizziness, and that certainly could be a contributing factor, you know, to, to falls. Certainly. Um, some other things that to keep in mind are, as a caregiver, if you, you have a, a realization that your, your, your father, your mother, um, someone in your family is at risk of falls. Mm -hmm. um, take the extra time to be there for them. Um, start looking at things that you can change around the house or things that they cannot do on their own anymore and start offering to do them. Um, a lot of times it's hard for someone to come to the realization that the activities that they used to do they are not safe doing anymore. Um, another good thing to think about is having um, a life alert line or there's other companies in the area that provide that service but having that there in the event of a fall that someone is not laying on the floor or badly hurt or is in a position to where they can't get medical care for hours or sometimes even days. And I understand that even some hospitals now have their own life alert sort of program. Yes, I would look at the area hospitals and ask about those services. Okay, that's great. Okay, well thank you very much Jeremy. You're welcome.